Hello friends and welcome to another review of uh, Vintage Beauty. This time I have for you a classic looking German fountain pen. And when I say classic looking, I am referring to this cigar or torpedo shape fountain pen. I present to you the Geha 708. Maybe you are not familiar with the German uh, manufacturer Geha. Well, um, Geha or uh, Gebruder Hartmann was based in Hanover, Germany. The brand name is a result of the first letters of Gebruder Hartmann, the Hartmann brothers, uh, who were the founders of the Geha company. In their first years of uh, existence on the market, they mainly produce office products like carbon paper and typewriter ribbons. But from the 1950s onwards, they also produce high quality fountain pens. This Geha 708 is a product of the 1960s that uh, has uh, some design traits from the 1950s, like this uh, cigar shape or torpedo shape form and the beautiful gold trims. I want to illustrate that by bringing a competitor, uh, Mont Blanc, and this is a special Mont Blanc, their line for students, a Monterosa. But this isn't just a Monterosa, it is a Monterosa with a gold nib, and the version is 042G, G standing for the beautiful, beautiful gold nib. If we compare those two fountain pens, we can see similarities in the rounded shape of the endings of the cap and of the endings of the barrel. We have uh, two piston fillers. This is the end of the turning knob. The cap is screwed in and it reveals a beautiful, beautiful ink window. But here uh, the comparison stops because the Geha is influenced by a famous design of the 1950s, the Parker 51. Indeed, it was launched in the 1940s, the Parker 51, but the first versions were the vacuumatic versions. And after that, in my opinion, the most popular Parker 51 was the aerometric version. But you can see we have a semi-hooded nib, which was highly influenced by the popularity in the 1950s of the Parker 51. This is the old school, an open nib. And we have another trademark of the Geha. You can see that special, special feed. And uh, it's not the classical uh, ebonite feed like the old models from the, their competitors, but a special plastic feed. And uh, the, this is the comparison with the 1950s. I will put the Monterosa aside. So the Geha 708 was a quite uh, representative piece of Geha from the 1960s. But in the 1970s, Geha did successfully compete with Pelican on the market for students. And I have here a quite, quite uh, fashion fountain pen produced by Geha. It is uh, the Geha jeans line. It was introduced between 1972 and 1975. You can see with the steel nib uh, at quite affordable prices, the same trademark of the feed. These were cartridge fillers and were intended for uh, students. And um, as an example, they still made high-end fountain pens with gold nibs. As you can see here, we have a uh, 14 karat gold nib, the same feed. This is a uh, Geha 722 from 1975, a piston filler with those beautiful, beautiful ink windows. You must know that uh, they competed directly with uh, Pelican and especially uh, the Pelicano model till the 1990s when uh, they were bought by Pelican. So this was a short uh, history lesson and uh, a short review of their models. 
Let's get back to the 1960s and uh, let's take a look at this Vieja 708. So this um, Vieja, it is 708N. N stands for the fact that this had an integrating piston filling mechanism. There were other two versions of the Geha 708, which uh, ended in, uh, in CP. CP stands for the cartridge uh, filler mechanism. So as you see, a quite elegant fountain pen. Let uh, us show you the beautiful, beautiful, elegant cap. It ends in this uh, ring, no imprints on the ring. The only imprints are on the cap itself, Geha 708. They are um, engraved and they are gold painted. And this example has uh, stood the test of time. You can see the gold uh, uh, plating and the gold uh, letters. They are uh, they're, uh, not faded away. A beautiful, beautiful um, clip. And it reminds me a little bit of the beak of the uh, pelican, but uh, no problem. It's quite elegant. It's quite symmetric. You can see the beak ends in the similar beak. And you can see the Geha logo of the end of the clip. On the back, we have this domed end shape. And of course, the cap is screwed in. And it reveals this simple, simple grip section that hosts at the end this semi-hooded nib. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a 14 karat gold nib. You can see the ink window. We can see the piston filler mechanism at the end. And practically this is uh, our fountain pen. It is um, classic, classic German when you see it. Uh, even uh, if you don't know the producers, you can see it's highly influenced by the 1950s design of the German fountain pens. But it has also an innovative uh, nib, which was used in the 1960s. Highly influenced again by the Parker 51, a great success of a hooded nib. They uh, made a semi-hooded nib. I will leave the dimensions of this beautiful fountain pen on the screen. And after that, we will do a writing sample. For the writing sample, I think that um, I will use this uh, Parker Quick Ink. It is uh, highly lub lubricated and it is um, a good ink for a piston filling mechanism. It uh, cleans and it lubricates that uh, piston. After I ink it, we will be ready for the writing sample. So uh, guys, I am um, ready for the writing sample. To have a better perspective, I will take two of them. Um, I will change the perspective of the camera. Okay. Uh, it can be posted, but um, I recommend that you uh, don't post it to avoid micro scratches. So let me see. I have a Geha. Geha 708. It is from the 1960s. It is made in Germany in Hanover. Uh, this is um, actually the version 708N, which has a um, piston filling mechanism. Okay, I believe this is an F nib, F4 fine nib. And I think it is 14 karat gold nib. It is a semi hooded nib. A design of the 1960s, heavily inspired by the uh, Parker 51. 
let me test if it is a decent uh, juicy nib and uh, not um, as much uh, juice but a medium nib as you can see no flex to it no flex uh, let me test if the pressure yes it is a little bit of difference um, this no pressure and this with pressure let me check if it's suitable for signatures review yes quite a nice uh, uh, writer let me um, write so the quick um, brown fox fox jumps over the lazy dog so quite quite a nice writer quite quite a interesting student fountain pen from the 1960s and uh, guys this was my review of this um, interesting classical look uh, uh, looking german fountain pen from the 1960s a quite uh, nice fountain pen uh, thank you for your time wherever you are I wish you to have a nice day if you've enjoyed this uh, episode please subscribe to my channel to support my activity I will see you again at the next episode till then Bye-bye.